Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design and assemble a beautiful DC motor, brushless motor. We will design each and every part and assemble at the end and we will give the beautiful animation in SOLIDWORKS. So let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS. It very interesting and small project. I wish you like it. Now here let's make the first part of DC motor brushless bell. So, so select front plane, sketch and select here center line. First define the horizontal and vertical center line. Okay. Choose a line and draw a line up to here. Now repeat the lines and connect with this line. Exit. Now let's define. Keep the gap 2 mm and this length 10.5 mm. Let's define the overall length. 20.9 mm and width 18.53 mm. Okay. Now just drag it backward. First define this length 3 mm. 6 mm. Let's define this full length 2.5 plus 6 mm. Okay. One mm and let's make this gap two mm. Now define this length 5.6 mm now see here geometry is fully defined this is by default 2.5 mm so you can see the geometry is fully defined select here revolve boss base and select this axis okay now we will define the raw material. Go to material, aluminium and select cast aluminium. This body should be cast aluminium. I select this face little dark. Okay. Now select this face sketch normal. I will draw here center line. Okay. Let's define the angle 30 degree. Okay. Select here point and place one point here. Exit and define the distance from origin point 9 mm. Okay. Now choose here ellipse okay this ellipse let's define the length 13 point 66 19.19 mm now see this is the geometry of ellipse okay now we want to cut a ellipse so select extruded cut and keep here blind 5.9 mm you can see it here okay now see 
choose chamfer select 1 mm and 45 degree okay now see now let's try to make multiple number of patterns so choose this circular face and here select six numbers select here cut out also and chamfer okay now see now we want to make a one plane so do one thing select front plane plane and select inside face we want to make one plane with tangent or select here parallel not tangent choose here parallel and tangent okay now select this plane a sketch normal first define the center line select here center rectangle and draw a rectangle let's define the gap from outer line 1.5 mm keep the length 7 mm and width 8 mm nine mm okay now this is the geometry select extruded boss 1.8 mm in one direction choose direction to 0.2 mm only inside okay now select this face and make steel polish the steel now let's keep 0.2 mm okay this is the radius now let's try to make multiple number of patterns select here extruded boss and fill it now choose this hole delete select the path as a hole and make 12 number of patterns it's also looking more let's try 10 okay now see this is the pattern for magnetic field now select this face sketch normal choose here circle and draw a circle select here for construction and keep the radius 6 mm okay now select circle choose circular pattern make four numbers okay now let's define 2 mm and this one 12 mm by default okay now select extruded cut choose here through all okay now see we created the hole here now select top plane sketch normal and here we want to create a hole first define center line make sure it is horizontal and draw one circle let's say 1.5 mm diameter and this this center distance from this line make sure 3 mm see
now select x extruded cut keep 6 mm okay now see we created a hole inside now just hide this plane fillet 0.2 mm and we need to select some edges okay now this is the our first part bell is ready so let's save this part go to desktop and create one folder dc motor brushless this is brushless motor now this is the part 1 bell let's see the next part we forget to add something here choose front plane sketch normal select corner rectangle and here we want to make one cut out a small cut out Point four by point three. Draw one center line. Go to feature and select revolve. Cut command. Select the center line as a axis. Okay. Now select this face and define. let's say uh, cast aluminium now save our body let's see the next part let's make the second part of is dc motor stator choose front plane sketch draw vertical and horizontal center line again choose line and start from one end connect with this line and convert this in arc connect exit now delete this line choose three point arc okay now first define the length twenty point nine mm Seventeen mm. Okay. Now make some relation. Select these two lines. Make relation collinear and equal. There are two relations. Two mm. Seven mm, eight mm. Let's say four mm. Four point four mm. This also by default four mm. And select this length. 
5.5 mm so this side is fully defined let's make the gap 1 mm select 2.9 mm keep 3 mm select this distance from here 4.5 mm 1.2 mm now select this top line from origin point keep 18 mm let's make this this 9 mm okay and uh, choose here corner rec corner rectangle and draw one rectangle let's keep 0.7 mm one mm and distance from here to this point 0.7 mm okay choose trim entity and trim this middle line okay let's say the radius okay now see the geometry is fully defined okay select revolve boss base select this horizontal line as a center line or axis choose here okay see now select this face sketch exit first we will define the fillet 1 mm this face okay now try this face sketch normal draw here again draw a center line now let's define angle keep 45 degree okay now here we want to make one oblong so select here in straight slot uh, slot position choose here center point arc slot select this center point draw up to here drag exit now select this center point this center point select both the end and the center line collinear relation a uh, symmetric relation okay now let's define the gap 5.5 mm let's define the upper radius 16 mm and the lower one 8 mm okay choose circular pattern here select this geometry and we need four number of patterns keep here four and center point it is an axis okay see it's created four patterns here now again choose here center point arc select this point to this point okay now we will make one relation select both the end points and select this center line also and symmetry okay
undo now again choose circular pattern select this and make eight numbers see here okay now select the outer circle convert entities that's it choose trim entity and trim this mid extra lines so that it will easy for cutting okay now this is the geometry what we want to cut select extruded cut now see all the outer face and this oblongs make the cut out 4 mm depth okay see the stator body select the back space surface sketch select circle and draw two circles one construction again select second for construction okay let's keep the diameter the outer one 25 mm and the inner one 19 mm okay now select circle draw two vertical circles and in this this one draw two vertical circles in outer circle circle and in inner two horizontal circles in horizontal line okay now we will make one relation select all circles and make relation equal and define the diameter 3 3 mm okay go to feature select extruded cut through all okay now the stator body is created we will assign the material cast aluminum see this is the cast aluminum material let's save this part number 2 stator let's see the next part now here the next part is motor coil choose top plane sketch draw two circles uh, keep inside diameter 14 mm and the gap between these two lines circle become 2 mm select line draw a vertical line now choose here center point arc exit select these two points and mid lines and make relation symmetric keep the radi radius 18 mm okay choose offset 1 mm select this radius okay select line and close it okay or choose line and draw vertical lines mirror this line against vertical line now define the gap make 2 mm okay now define this angle 20 degree only see here choose trim entity and trim this 
mid lines okay now see the geometry is fully defined select extruded boss and this time select this outer circle only 8 mm okay see choose the material aluminium powder paint go to painted here you will find powder coat aluminium powder coat and uh, i'll prefer green keep little light okay now choose again the first sketch extrude now select the this is sketch upper sketch same 8 mm okay now we will create one plane choose front plane plane 9.1 mm flip direction we want to create some electrical coil or copper coil okay now select this plane sketch normal first draw a vertical center line exit select center rectangle the width make 5 mm and height let's say 8.45 mm okay select fillet keep 1 mm and select the full rectangle okay okay now see exit now hide this plane now select right plane sketch normal choose line and draw one line here and define the diameter 0.5 mm see it will little coincide here in okay now select the center point of circle and this line and make one relation pierce now geometry is fully defined exit go to feature and find out one option swift boss base see circle profile selected just choose the path okay now select this swift body go to appearance metal and find out here polished copper see this is the polished copper choose linear pattern we want multiple number of patterns select this line as a axis and here select this keep gap 0.5 of 1 mm let's say 15 mm okay is calculating maybe more calculation sometime my computer hang due to select this all faces and you can apply copper polished copper now let's try to make multiple number of patterns choose circular pattern here select first now here select drop down the menu first choose swift and pattern and select extruded body 2 we want 10 number of patterns okay uncheck the geometry and let's see it might takes more time because it is a uh, too much calculation here now see here it's done we created 
this calculation is too heavy so it uh, may takes more space or more number of now let's save this is coil this is part number 2 coil let's see the next part shaft and circlips and there is a fan also let's make the next part axle choose top plane sketch and draw a circle with 4 mm diameter okay and let's extrude it and keep the length 42 mm okay select right plane sketch normal and here we want to make one groove for clip so choose linear pad corner rectangle point 5 mm point 2 mm point 8 mm okay choose here center line draw one vertical center line feature and select revolve cut see here the center line selected as a axis and is going to cut one okay see now select this face sketch normal select here center choose corner rectangle now select these three lines make relation symmetric now define point 3 point 2 point 15 mm okay now let's extrude cut we want to make some groove let's say Three mm. Okay. Now define the raw material. Steel, satin finish, stainless steel. Or there is a one is satin finish aluminium. This is also a nice material. let's save part number 4 axle here let's make the next part rotor or fan blade choose top plane sketch select circle and keep the diameter 6 mm okay and select extruded boss keep 5 mm and make mid plane okay now we want to create two planes so choose top plane plane 1.5 mm okay again choose top plane plane 1.5 mm flip direction okay now select the plane one sketch normal select here star point and put one star point here exit 
select exit now select the plane to sketch normal again choose point and place one star point exactly the below of previous exit now select top plane sketch normal draw one center line and make the length 20 mm okay now exit now hide both the planes uh this plane just delete it choose here top plane a sketch normal center line and define the length 20 20 mm exit from the sketch now see okay this line it is in mid position so what we have to do select here 3d sketch choose line for 3d sketch select this face normal now select line or uh, not line choose spline select this point to this point cancel again choose this spline select this point to this point exit select line select this point to this point exit now see we created a kind of body select front plane normal top plane normal uh let's try now select this spline and take it little here and there so it looks nice it's look better exit now go to surface and here you will find one option filled surface see the full action uh, sketch selected okay now see a thin film created so select this film thickness mid Zero point zero five mm. Now let's see. Or let's make zero point one mm. Okay. Now let's try to make fillet. make 0.5 mm okay now hide this line now we want to make multiple number of select hide this all star points choose circular pattern select this face clear select the blade select here geometry pattern fillet select this axis okay 
बट वी नीड थिकनेस सेलेक्टेड मीन्स द बॉडी इज सेलेक्टेड वी नीड ओनली सिक्स नंबर ऑफ पैटर्न मेक श्योर ज्योमेट्री पैटर्न सेलेक्टेड सेलेक्ट सेलेक्ट द बैक सरफेस स्केच एंड हियर क्रिएट ए होल कीप द डायमीटर फोर एम एम सेलेक्ट एक्सक्यूटेड कट through all okay now see the throughout hole created select right plane a sketch normal and here we want to create a dome so select line S better select one and two mid line and convert select Three point arc. Exit. Select revolve boss base. This vertical line as axis. Okay. Now see, this is a kind of rotor or fan blade. We will assign this material as a plastic, high gloss plastic. ओके नाउ लेट्स सेव दिस पार्ट नंबर फाइव ब्लेड फैन ब्लेड और फैन यू कैन से डायरेक्टली सेव लेट्स डू द लास्ट पार्ट सर क्लिप choose top plane sketch go to sketch select here center point arc exit again draw one more center point arc exit make some relation horizontal horizontal now connect it exit now define radius 2.5 mm outer inner 1.5 mm okay Keep fill it. Point one mm. Select all cor corner edges. Okay, okay. Now select extruded boss. Point two mm thickness. Okay. This is the. keep little dark okay now save this part part number 6 sir clip now let's start the assembly or now here let's start the assembly of dc motor brushless new assembly this is the assembly window let's browse our first part make here large icon we will bring a stator first white now this is the by default uh, let's fix the another part coil
choose here mat select this outer face and inside face concentric okay select this face and back face coincident okay now let's browse the next part axial rod rotate the rod okay choose mat select inside hole and this rod coincid concentric relation okay now here we want to fix some bearing so do one thing just go to geometry a uh, library you will find here one tool toolbox in toolbox go to bottom and here you will find skf bearing option bearing ball bearing and choose here radial ball bearing drag it and bring up to this rod and leave it now it automatically this selected this rod diameter 4 mm so here we will choose 604 this is quite better okay select okay now select inside face mat select back side back side of bearing okay okay now press control key and copy one bearing choose this bearing or select inside face mat rod cos concentric relation inside face and back side face of bearing okay now select this face and this face coincident okay now let's fix the one more important parts sir clip choose here mat select the sir clip and this face concentric relation back surface okay now see here it is fixed inside the groove so the back side all the things fixed now let's try here browse the main body bell okay so Se select mat rod and this hole concentric relation okay select this face and this face select here okay now let's browse the our last part fan rotate the fan okay mat select this face concentric or co okay concentric select inside edge only edge and select this edge coincident relation okay now see okay so now this is the our DC motor. See, it is rotating. 
now let's save the assembly save now right click on this menu motion motion manager and here choose motion analysis now we will give some analysis motion to this video choose here one option motor select this face keep rpm 80 mm okay just play it's playing drop down and select here exploded view select this fan okay select this body now select here sir clip now select the bearing bearing take pull back now select this face Now the last one. Okay. Now right click and collapse. Now select here animation wizard. Select exploded view. Duration keep. Okay, eight mm. Finish. again choose x collapse finish 8 mm and here select 14 mm finish now calculate now it is calculating now this is going to dismantle dismantle all the parts now the going to back the assembly now just play now it will freely play see the motor rotating go to model and we will we want to give one more relation select excel excel front and fan select the front plane of both the rod and excel and fan mat okay now go to motion manager and it is asking select yes to update the start of animation to move the new position or value or select no leave the unchanged select no so now it will rotate with shaft
see here you can see the shaft also rotating because the shaft rotating with the help magnetic field of this uh, copper coil now after creating this animation we, we can save it directly D if you want to save it so directly click on the save animation wizard select the position location desktop I prefer a screen uh, custom ratio 16 by 19 and frame 25 frame save uncheck frame key ok now this procedure again it will take all the things recalculate and it will save automatically once it save in your system so you can directly open and see the animated video so i wish i hope you like it please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks don't forget to share and like our videos if you have any comment please write in comment box thanks for watching